intimacy in a couple so it's very important that we talk about intimacy in a couple because there's so many things that are people experiencing and the level of chat chat on couples intimacy will definitely help so i have seven tips that will definitely help here improving your intimacy with your partner um in your relationship yes uh, we're talking about sexual relationship mostly here uh, the sexual part or aspect of the relationship so yes uh, among the seven points our first one will be communication communication is very important you're going to learn to communicate with your partner and during communication you can ask her questions you know how she feels about the whole performance is she happy and bad is she sexually happy with you uh, and needs being met uh, expectation being met are you performing well um how does she likes to be touched how does she like to be cuddled where are a sensitive area everything to make the whole experience for her not an emotional torture but it's actually an enjoyable moment and a fun moment so she can start even demanding to have sexual relationship with you so communication is very important that goes to the men as well you kind of um as a woman ask your man if he's happy men likes to explore so if he's happy with all the techniques uh, all the performance if he's happy with the type of uh, things that you are showing or displaying or interest into your bedroom in terms of having a sexual relationship or being intimate with him you really need to have communication with him because he's the only person that can tell you and also give you a feedback about your performance and how or if you would like to see things being improved in your intimacy in a couple so yes before we move to the second point uh, i would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel and join the family also click on the notification bell so you don't get to miss any video uh, any new video that i will upload you are come to engage you are come to uh, ask questions and also to share to like to invite friends to join the channel to also learn and improve in the relationship because every week we have every we have a new video that will actually add something into your knowledge and help us all to grow and to improve in life so the second point will be when you are dealing with a shy partner so you may have a shy wife a shy girlfriend a shy partner a shy husband a shy boyfriend and, and so forth so when you have a shy partner that partner will not always be upcoming like forthcoming and telling you oh baby i'm not happy about how we handle our last relationship i wasn't happy because i saw that you went first when you were able to climax you kind of got tired you wanted to sleep and that was it you didn't even care if i was happy if i experienced orgasm if i would enjoy the whole thing not every girl not every woman not every sex partner will have the boldness to open such a conversation because it can be sensitive and if you are dealing with a partner who is very defensive you know he can be frustrated he can take the offense and start defending himself or just get angry or upset and we don't want to deal with that so if your partner is actually sensitive uh, sorry, if your partner is shy, you kind of want to be soft and patient with the partner and always encourage him or her to engage, to open the conversation. The communication is very important, we said. It will help you guys to learn where you guys are doing wrong or where you are personally not doing well so you can improve. So to request a feedback from your sexual partner, from your husband, your wife, your partner, it's very nice. You have to also be receptive when he gives you a feedback. So baby, I didn't like what you did. Or maybe when you were going down on me, you had to put a pillow. It probably showed that you are so lazy, something like that. You can't be angry at such feedback. This is his opinion. That feedback should be constructive and help you to improve. So she can also uh, say, oh no, I think you only think about yourself. Well, as soon as you climax, you kind of, you're done. You just want to sleep. You don't care if I want anything, if I even want more. You can't be angry at such feedback. It has to be constructive. It has to build you guys up. It has to encourage you guys to improve, to better yourself, to become best performers so that you may not run outside and get what you want. The whole idea is to be able to learn where you went wrong where things are not perfect to better yourself so you can sell faithful to each other so you don't get to go outside to get someone else who can do a better job 
that would be cheating and we don't want that so when you deal with a, a, a shy partner always trying to engage open a conversation try be patient when or he or she gives you feedback be receptive trying to improve trying to learn new things new techniques it will really 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 better things into your sexual life or intimacy as a couple so the third thing will be selfishness okay before we get it into that one thing i have to tell you is that um august is not a favor that a man does to a woman it's it's not a favor it's a woman's right so as a woman when you are in the bedroom or you are in the kitchen or in the living room because nowadays people are doing it everywhere <laughs> ignore them <laughs> When you are wherever you are and being intimate with a man, so if he allow you to go first and make sure you receive your orgasm, don't think like he's doing you a favor. It's your right. And as a woman, you must have the boldness to demand it. Demand orgasm as much as you demand your respect. Okay? So that's it. And selfishness comes when uh, a woman and a man are about to be intimate. A man goes first, he gets his orgasm, uh, his climax, he, he interaction, he ejaculate, and all of that. And the woman is just there. Because the man is now tired, the hormone is released, he's thinking about sleeping and then resting. And there she is, she doesn't enjoy anything. And then you're like, oh baby, let's sleep. Doesn't work like that. That would be very selfish. And the other thing is, some men doing it over and over again where i come from for instance like african background i come from an african country it's kind of taboo our mothers our grandmother they don't talk about intimacy they don't talk about sex or anything like that so you will see women you know um they they don't get orgasm they don't even talk about it, they don't even expect it it's all about a man coming into the vagina performing getting his ejaculation or climax and that is it that's pretty selfishness um another thing you also need to um it's pretty selfish sorry and it's an act of selfishness another thing you need to know that in the whole world um medically speaking we do have 30 percent of women only who are able to um experience orgasm during the actual sexual intercourse which entails the presence of the penis into the vagina so we have the vulva we have the vagina canal and then we have the cervix so the presence of the penis between the in the vagina canal basically between the vulva and the cervix and all the friction and the movement that happens during the sexual intercourse so only 30 percent of women are able to experience orgasm during that process but the other 30 percent of women they do not and the way they can get the orgasm is actually via the clitoris the clitoris is the same organs it's also part of the reproductive system that women use in order to urinate so um yeah so they do experience their organs via the clitoris so you need to know today in which category does your wife or your partner belongs to is she part of the 30 percent of women who are able to experience orgasm during the actual sexual intercourse or she's part of the 70 percent of women <laughs> who depends or relies on the clitoris in order to experience orgasm so once you find out in which category she is by opening up a honest conversation that's supposed to be um, easy very patient sweet and loving then you will know in which category she belongs and how you can actually assist her to also experience orgasm and enjoy the whole thing trust me it is in your own interest that you do that why because if she if a woman is enjoying sex with you or sexual relationship with you you won't have to ask for it you won't you won't have them to beg for it you won't even time to buy her stuff in order to get it she will be initiating she will giving you <laughs> she'll be sending you messages your wife will just be in the mood every day every night she will never complain because she's enjoying the whole process another thing women do complain like oh my husband wants too much sex or my partner wants too much sex is because they don't enjoy the thing it's become like a burden when you don't enjoy something it's become like an emotional torture do you understand what i'm trying to say you become like tortured you don't want to do it but as, as as a wife or as someone's partner girlfriend you feel like obligated to do that when sex mustn't feel like an obligation otherwise we, we should be sitting here talking about rap because yeah i know there are millions of women married women who are actually being raped by their own husband 
they don't experience orgasm they don't enjoy the whole sex thing but their husband wants sex almost every night which is not bad is a libido is a high is a high is natural it's natural it's just something you have to deal with and trying to accommodate that into your sexual relationship but the best thing to deal with a high libido man will be to be able to get your orgasm at you so you can be in the mood for the whole thing so sex with him or intimacy with him doesn't feel like a burden doesn't feel like a torture doesn't feel like oh i'm about to be raped so if he makes you move toward you you are like Ooh, another rap another rap which can be because emotionally you are so un unavailable for him you don't want that you don't want anything to do what is happening why because he wants it and he wants it almost every night or every day so yes it is in your best interest that you make sure that your woman experiences as many orgasms as, as possible because if she does she will start enjoying sexual relationship with you she will not complain she will not fake orgasm to make you happy like many women are doing it especially girlfriends they will just fake orgasm so the guy can feel great or i'm able to make a woman come excuse me ladies no you can't you can't keep doing this you can't fake something like that you're gonna have to talk to him if you have more experience than him teach him show him how it's being done there's nothing wrong in teaching somebody something if you love the person if the teaching is done with passion with love with humility uh -uh, why not but if there's pride involved so the other part doesn't want to learn and say she's a woman what is she gonna teach me oh you are a man why aren't you doing your job <sighs> you see you have to learn i'm not saying you should go watch porn in order to learn i'll never encourage that i think porn is very mechanical mm -mm, i'll never encourage that it's it's not good you become more mechanical you lost touch you will lose touch with reality and there's a lot of conversation but that's a topic of another day but for today yeah if you are always that part that male partner who always goes first and your woman goes after look at my earrings i've broke this one again i'm so bad with earrings <laughs> ah there was a time i find myself with half pair of more than six like only one <laughs> all of other earrings are like gone <laughs> oh my gosh i don't know what to do with earrings anymore <laughs> and i don't want to press anyway so let's get back to the topic that was just to distract you a little bit so if you're always a man who always go first and your woman goes after you will always look selfish so i, I just want to invite you to think about her to make her go first make sure she gets your organs then you go after so that even when the hormone gets released you feel tired or sleepy she's already satisfied she's happy tomorrow you won't have to beg for it ask for it or fight for it because there are men even fighting to have sex because the women don't want they are not enjoying the whole thing or oh, they're not just enjoying them or the relationship with them so you put in the mood you will always get it anytime anywhere and there won't be any struggle attached to it so it's in your best interest to keep her happy in that way trust me so um the fourth point will be the presence of kids the presence of kids is not a sign that you guys have a great sex life or your sexual relationship is great or nice or whatever it doesn't mean like that you can have 10 11 hundred kids but your woman zero orgasm she doesn't experience orgasm she doesn't know it she doesn't feel it nothing and nothing so the best thing to do is even if you have children just make sure she's happy keep her happy in bed keep her happy you won't have to struggle to get it regularly and as you are always satisfying yourself with her you will have less chance to go outside and cheat on your partner to go outside and sleep with someone else because you want what she can't give you you see the whole point here is to Help us to stay faithful. This is what we promote in this channel. This is what I promote in my personality. People should stay faithful. So the another thing that lead men to cheat or women to cheat, it's bad sex, bad sex life, bad sexual relationship will only lead your partner on way and be satisfied by someone else. So we don't want that. So we have to make all the effort that we can in order to make sure that we do the great job that we need to do in our relationship so that our partner gets to stay faithful with us and respect us in that way so yes the fifth point will be 
to have the courage to seek for medical attention many people have problems you are a man as a man you are unable to make a woman pregnant seek medical attention it's really a waste of time it's spending time blaming her the reason we can't have kids is because you are barren you have had abortions blaming her accusing her will not help just go see a doctor see a, a professional a guy and see someone talk about your problem and you'll be surprised maybe there's a cure there's a solution there's a way out somewhere there so instead of you guys fighting over her past or whatever mistakes you made you can go and seek medical attention if you are unable to ejaculate as a man or maybe when you start your sexual intercourse you do ejaculate very early you know um very early to the point like she doesn't even get to enjoy the whole thing maybe it's maybe there's a problem i'm not saying like it's a medical condition because <laughs> you will think like bang i've got my diagnosis <laughs> go see <laughs> You think like you, you've got your, <laughs> your medical. <laughs> you, you haven't. Please go see a doctor. See a medical qualified um, healthcare professional, a medical doctor, to help you, gynae, whoever you wanna go see. You see, to do the proper diagnosis, I will probably be there in the lab at the background waiting for the sample to do the diagnosis. <laughs> your diagnosis. Uh, maybe they're in the background, but you need to go see a professional. So you go, um, yeah. So you can't ejaculate, you can't experience an erection, you can't make women pregnant. You, I don't know, uh, something wrong with the sperm, something wrong with uh, the secretion in your vagina area. Go see um, a professional. You know, even if you're experiencing lesions or it's painful when you urinate. You don't know if you have urinary tract infection you don't know if you have sexual transmitted disease you don't know what's going on with the lesion the the irritation the itchiness this bad smell you're experiencing in your genitals you wouldn't know we wouldn't know until you go seek for medical attention and then they recommend some tests or whatever treatments and then that will help to improve your health so don't be shy if you don't last during sex if you can't experience orgasm maybe it's something medically there's a woman who have been raped in the past also uh, have been molested they experience what we call fragility so they're kind of scared of sex or scared of sexual intercourse and scared of man so if you have experienced that that's i think it's a medical condition just google it so go see a professional explain how you feel maybe you were molested you were abused sexually abused or raped in the past you are scared of mind sex scared of intercourse therefore you don't experience orgasm or you don't enjoy sex or anything see a therapy see a sex doctor a sex doctor or medical doctor get some help please it's gonna help you a lot six points will be orgasm is not like we said is not a favor it done to a woman it's a woman's right so honey mama please sissy sister <laughs> you have to demand it i don't want you to be naive or, or shy you know when there's um intimacy going on in your relationship is the only person who's satisfied there he goes to sleep or rest that's it you're gonna grow frustrated you're gonna go angry you're gonna resent him you want to pretend it's making you happy. You want to pretend your needs are being met, your sexual needs today. But tomorrow you can't pretend. You won't be able to pretend anymore. So for you not to go outside to your ex, ex, and ex boyfriend, high school sweetheart, who used to give you multiple organs, you have to talk to him, the one you're in relationship now. Explain to him how you feel that you you tell him that you don't experience organs you are not enjoying the whole sexual experience because sooner or later it's going to become a burden it's going to become emotional torture that's when you're going to run outside to get someone else to get the job done that's when you're going to cheat on him you're going to break his heart destroy your marriage destroy your relationship destroy your kid's life if you have any child or children we don't want that i don't want that that's why i've given myself all this trouble to sit in front of the camera and talk to you because I care. Hmm? I care. Even from far. Even if you don't know me. 
I care, I see care. It wouldn't stop me from caring. Because I care we are here. Mm. That sounds sweet, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get back to serious business. So, you have to. You have to talk to him. You have to make sure the problem is being addressed. So that you don't resent him, so that you don't cheat on him, so that you don't mess up your relationship. It's precious. It's very precious. There are millions of women who will do anything to get what you have. They will do anything to be in your shoes, to have your relationship, to have your man, your marriage, everything you have. So why will you take it for granted? Why? Don't take it for granted. It's a privilege. And you should appreciate it. Okay? The last thing, the last point, it's about exploring. The problem comes with our mothers, okay, our elders, those who are born in 1970, 1960, 1980, 90, whatever, 90 maybe. They, they tend to be a little bit of old fashioned. With today's technology, science, things have improved. People have internet, they have access to so many things, so many learning tools. So people are learning. And some men, because of that, as a result of that, they tend to, because we have three types of sexual relationship. We have the vagina, where the penis gets penetrated in the vagina. We have the anal, using the anus, and we have the oral one. So, and as per our faith, you know, some... Uh, religion or relationship with god there is some certain type of sex that is not allowed so if you are someone who is a god fearing who doesn't want to have anal sex or oral sex i will recommend that you mustn't do it do not do anything that is not in your value you see do not compromise your relationship with your um with god if you are um a spiritual person or a god fearing man or woman for you to please your partner so do not do not do anything you don't want to do do not do anything that is uh, outside of your values or your faith remember that advice i really mean it but what i'm trying to tell you is you have to explore if you can't have all sex for instance the least you can because of your faith and your value which is great which i support and respect what I can tell you is, you can at least kiss the whole thing. Kiss the whole thing, but do not have sex with it. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I just don't want to break down everything because I don't know my audience, like kids, if they will be watching this video. I'm a little bit worried. Um, yeah, but I know you understand what I'm trying to say. If you can't have oral sex because it's a sin, because of your faith, your relationship with God, which is great. You don't have to do it then. Then kiss the whole thing. You can at least kill, kiss the whole thing and play with it. The whole idea I'm saying is because science has involved technology as well. You know, it's so easy for man. It's, it will be so easy for your man, your husband, your partner to actually go outside, get it done by someone else. Like I told you, there are millions of women who would do anything to have your man, to have your relationship, to have what you have. So as you do have it, I also want you to be smart. Don't be naive. Don't be stupid. Okay. Sorry. What am I saying? This is rush. Don't be naive. Don't and be smart. I will say be smart because I respect you. Be smart. You are not stupid at all. You are smart. So you need to be very smart, you know, about your relationship. So you kind of want to explore. You kind of want to learn. Especially if your partner is requesting that, you see, the thing is, if he doesn't know, he doesn't request, honey, you are safe, just enjoy. But if he's requesting, he knows, and he wants you to explore, make some changes, and you don't, you guys will keep on fighting because he's still not getting what he wants, or she's not getting what she wants. After fighting, then he's gonna go outside, get someone else to do it, which won't mean that he's gonna cheat on you. I don't want him to cheat on you i want him to stay faithful to you i want your partner to stay faithful to you i want her to only have you as a man in her life so we kind of have to learn evolve explore but keeping our values keeping our faith not changing who we are not compromising our relationship with um our supreme uh, being so 
I hope you understand. If you don't, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Drop me a question. As a sabi, I would love to read your comments and reply back. So, if you haven't yet, watch my other video on um, all about marriage. It's very interesting. And my other video on internal enemies of marriage, external enemy of marriage. It's like a series of uh, videos. Besides that, we also have lots of interesting videos in this channel that I'm inviting you to watch, to subscribe to, to recommend to friends and relatives to help this platform grow so we can add something into many people's lives, impact lives, change lives. You know, that's love. Thank you for watching. I will see you in those videos. Enjoy.